guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to react to Justin with the song Surreal. He will be singing live on SB19's world tour in Dubai as a solo artist. And I'm really keen to see how he does it. I'm really actually happy that they are doing that on their own like band tours. Like I just watched Stell sing his like just a song itself. I see that Josh is doing it, that Ken is doing it. They're like all of them are singing their solo stuff in their own tour, which is really, really kind of cool to see that they are standing behind each other no matter what. Yeah, I cannot wait to see how Justin does it here because I have seen him sing this song two times live. One was like his promo, another one was on a wish bus. So this is gonna be like completely raw, probably filmed with the phone. So we will get the actual, actual thing that how it goes. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. And the crowd goes wild. It's also be really interesting to get used to his dark hair now again. So fluffy, so sweet, gentle, kind of fragile in a way, and I really, really like that. I didn't know how he's gonna approach it on like such a big stage with such so many people like in a crowd, but I love that he's keeping this fragileness and sweetness in it, and so clean actually. Like I think it's cleaner than on a wish bus. Like his voice, it's just so kind of adaptive to it. I love it. That's so cute. Um, first of all, I really like that he has the jumper from like all the previous things with like these dried flowers attached to the side. I feel I think that's really cool touch that he has kept that with him and on the tour to kind of symbolize himself as a person on his own without a band. And also, I want to say this song is really hard to sing actually. And at the first glance, it doesn't seem like it. But it's not the easiest song to sing because it, it breaks in that in-between spot in the voice where it's not low and it's not high. But when you think it's not that difficult, it actually is to get it right so that the sound, like the tone of the voice sounds correct there. I am wanting to sing this song for a really long time and I just haven't got around to do it. But I really, really hope that soon I will do just little slight slight cover of it. But yes, if you have ever wondered if you want to sing this song, this song is actually quite difficult to come across and to sing it live like this. It's really, really courageous, I would say. It's really courageous to say to sing this song live because one slight tone down and it will sound off to, like, to stay on that line. guys been also saying in the comments like that you can see like visually his confidence growing and I'm like 110% there with you because even now like walking around even if you're just walking around the stage he's like interacting with people or be be before the chorus like he says like sing with me like you need to have some confidence and like Powering yourself to push yourself to do those things because he could just stand in the middle and not do much and just sing the song but the fact that he's like going from fans to left to right and just 
interacting with them it's nice to see his growth in confidence as that and also it's a really interesting look to think about that this is part of like SB19 tour or concert because like this is really almost like office wear if you think about it. like smart smart trousers smart shoes shirt a vest like it's really really like smart style that is not usually what SB19 goes for it's more loud and proud and like experimenting with all types of different fabrics and colors and everything so this is really toned down for that I think actually was really good like the ending was maybe slightly under but just slightly but also because I think his voice sounds a lot louder than the track underneath and the person who is filming or I don't know because they're like following really well but that the thing that is recording the sound and the visual like his vocal is taking over the track itself so we clearly can hear basically just his vocal and it's really clean and stable and just strong as well if you would say except, except that ending where it went slightly under and that's what i mean this song like the melody itself is really tricky it like slides in between so you really have to be really precise with it and like he is right now walking around interacting like having fun to have that in mind at all times is really skillful to have that in this Tzadzadzira was slightly like there was difficulty for him in my opinion like he did it but like the first one that he did it was much more sustained in my opinion because like as I said like he's walking he's interacting he's like being there the person he's not just like a, a wall that is standing and with this a melody like I cannot stress enough the melody is hard like it's a difficult melody it doesn't sound like it but it is so he's doing a great job like to sustain it live <laughs> was really cool also the fact that he sat down that's also really brave to sit in front of the fans that are in front like because people can be slightly if they will see a person they really like they the brain can shut off and they can do some things that maybe they would not do normally so that's brave for him to do that and sit that there but also because he's sitting he's supporting himself from mid range up like there's no more legs involved to like sustain the diaphragm or anything it's only from his waist up to sustain and also it sounds for me that he's much more comfortable singing in a higher place than in a lower because closer to his falsetto he's a lot sounds like freer to me at least in this performance specific especially when he's singing and going through the register higher it sounds with the ease and also with the power in there and the whole thing here is just cute doing like fist bumps like the hearts and everything it's cool. I 
feel like those highest bits, he really needs to try to do like as soft as possible because if he pushes, it starts to become slightly off. So when he goes in this almost no whisper type of way, this highest, 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 then it sounds like correct in my opinion. What do you guys think? Don't kill me also in the comments down below because I cannot stress enough like this is a difficult song to sing. So the fact that he can do as much as he is doing with the, how much interaction is happening is incredible. <laughs> at the end even you can hear when he goes higher and he supports really well that chest it sounds so clean so strong and just right in the spot where it has to go and yeah but like overall it's amazing job that he did there and i really love that they're doing this on their own actual world tour as a band that they sing each individual solo artist songs and are showing them to the people maybe that are not because i know there's a lot of biases in the band and there are people for certain members of the band so maybe some of them are not really listening all of their separate music so that way they can kind of spread the word about them and like um kind of infect them with their songs and music and like join the party with them as well which i think is really cool anyways guys what do you think about this performance of his and uh, how you try to yourself to sing this song and if you have how do you go with this melody that goes because uh, also it can be singing lower and higher or both and it's a choice to make where you feel more comfortable or sound more correct in your ear i assume um so yeah let me know in the comments down below but other than that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye